Okay, class, now we're going to look at the cash basis of accounting versus the accrual basis. So I've got accrual versus cash basis. On the accrual basis of accounting, we recognize revenues as we earn them, and we recognize our expenses as they're incurred. Versus the cash basis, we're following the cash. We recognize revenue when the cash is received. When we get the cash, that's when we recognize the revenue. Expenses, we wouldn't recognize the expenses until we've actually paid the cash out. Now, in accounting, 99% uh, of the time, we do the accrual basis of accounting. Small businesses can do the cash basis, but most businesses use the, the, the accrual basis of accounting because we're matching revenues and expenses in the right time period. Now, I'm going to use the example of an insurance policy. Okay, let's say we have a policy that is good for... Um, 18 months and we're going to make this example easy. Let's say the policy cost us $1,800. Okay, so we've got an insurance policy. I'm just going to write it right down here. An insurance policy that we purchase and goes in force at December 1st. We're paying $1,800 for this policy and it's a policy good for 18 months. 18 months. So if we're, let's do the cash basis first. If we're doing the cash basis, this is year one, okay, and we purchased it December 1st, so we would have 1,800 of expense because we recognize all of the expense when we incur, uh, when, we, when we pay the cash for that item. In this case, it's an insurance policy, so we have insurance expense of $1,800 in year one. Now, let's look at the accrual basis of accounting. Under the accrual basis of accounting, in year one, we're not going to have 1,800 of expense, okay? Because this is 1,800 for 18 months, so let's, let's see how much that is per month. We're going to take the $1,800 divided by 18 months, which would be $100 per month, okay? So that means in year one, we would have how much expense? Well, just one month because we purchased it on December 1st. So we would have $100 in year one. In year two, this policy would be in effect for 18 months starting December 1st. So there's one month. In year two, it would be for 12, the full months, January all the way to December. So we would have 12 months times the $100, okay? And so now how many months do we have left? We have five months left in year three. So the remaining $500 would be in year three. So we've got the $1,800, 100 plus 1,200 is 1,300, plus the last five months of the policy is 500. So you can see a big difference here. In the cash basis, we recognize $1,800 of expense in, the, in, in year one when we pay it. Under the accrual basis, we're recognizing, in this case, our expense um, as we incur it, okay? And we incur $100 of expense here, and then $1,200 as the policy continues on for the next 12 months, and then the last five months um, take place in year three. So that's an explanation of the cash basis versus the accrual basis of accounting. I showed you an example of an expense. Uh, revenue is done in a similar manner. We recognize the revenue as we've earned it, not when we get the cash when we're using the accrual basis of accounting. Under accrual basis of accounting, we recognize revenue as we've earned it and it just matches our revenues and expenses in the right time periods.